today I want to do kind of a product review of the Sonia Kashuk beauty sponge okay now this is obviously supposed to be more of a dupe for the original beauty blender and you can use it to apply your foundation this is supposed to give your foundation more of a seamless natural finish because it's really supposed to soften out any of the obvious streaks or lines and make your foundation look a little thinner so it doesn't look so cakey the original beauty blender I do not own so this isn't so much of a comparison video because I can't tell you a lot about the original beauty blender except what I've seen other people use but I know that it retails for about $25. This Beauty Blender from Sonia Kashuk, which you can purchase at Target, retails for $10. So I figured, hey, if it's supposed to be similar, then I wanna try this one because I love saving $15. Let me be really honest with you guys. I already tried it once and I hated it. Not hate, I didn't love it. But I wanna try it again because I've read some reviews and some people really like it. You have to dampen the sponge, which I've already done, so that it doesn't eat up all of your product. But I'm just like apply my foundation and kind of talk through it and then we'll see if I like it. Now the foundation that I'm going to use to try this out today is going to be my Revlon Color Stay for Combination Oily Skin. And I'm just going to dot it on my face and then use the sponge to blend it out. You're supposed to be able to use the flat end down here to kind of pounce your foundation on your face. Use the pointy end to like work your concealer in. So upon initially using it, I find the Beauty Bunch to be super firm. I don't know if other people do. I kind of feel like I'm like punching myself in the, in the face when I use it. I don't know if I'm doing it too hard. It definitely isn't like soft, like the kind of name denotes. I feel like with a sponge, you think it's going to be a lot softer. I am definitely hating it a little less than I did last time. Maybe I know how to use it better. That's one coat, kind of, of the foundation, and it's a very, like, sheer coverage. Um, you can still see a lot of redness around my nose. My breakout areas are still really prominent. Um, my chin is still kind of red. So that's one. I think what I'm going to try this time is putting a little bit of the foundation on my hand and then kind of pouncing in this product, warming it up on my hand, and then taking it to my face. So this is kind of a second layer, um, focusing more on the areas that I feel like I need a little extra coverage. I will say that I do feel like it is making my foundation look a lot more natural. That part, I guess it is working. Looking at my face, even like up close to myself, I don't really feel like I'm wearing makeup. Now I am going to use it to do my under eye concealer. Today I'm gonna to use my Rimmel Match Perfection. Like that. And then using the pointy end of the sponge to hopefully blend that in. See, I'm just kind of good at using the pointy end and getting right into my eye. I feel like it even sheared out my under eye coverage. You can still see some like shading under the eye that it didn't quite cover. But I do feel, again, it's tricky. It makes your coverage thinner, but it also makes it look more natural, but that's because it's thinner. So it's kind of a, depends on what you're going for that day. I am going to cover up some of these spots that I have using my blemish concealer. I'm just going to use the Revlon Color Stay. It's in light medium. Okay, I feel like when I went in with my concealer and then used the sponge to kind of work out my problem areas, that I like the results a lot better um, with the sponge. I am going to finish out the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back. Okay, so I finished applying the rest of my makeup, and as for the sponge, I think that I like it. Um, I'm really glad that I decided to do this video because I initially came on the video to tell you guys how much I hated this thing so I could see if anybody else hated it with me, and then I think I came out liking it in the end. Um, after I applied my foundation, I went ahead and did my eye makeup. I waited a little while to set my foundation, and one thing that I noticed was that normally my foundation is a lot thicker and therefore stays wet a lot longer and requires more powder to set.
but I found that because it applied in a thinner, sheerer coverage, it dried a lot quicker. Like it almost set on its own. I never let my foundation set on its own, but it almost set on its own. So when I applied powder, I only had to apply a really light, quick dusting of it instead of usually where I have to apply quite a bit more. Um, sorry, I don't know if you guys, if there's glare on my glasses. I'll take them off. <laughs> or I think you could. I don't, wouldn't use it for a... Um, like a full face coverage, like flawless coverage. Um, you could build up to that, I think, but I think it's really good for when you want to have a really natural look because in looking at my face, I really don't see that I have as much makeup on. Like, I usually always finish my makeup with this e.l.f. Um, setting spray or some kind of setting spray, not necessarily to make my makeup last longer, but to make my makeup look less cakey and kind of moisturize. But I didn't do that here, and I don't really feel like I need to because I don't think that my makeup looks as thick and as heavy on my face. That's not to say that it looks like I'm not wearing any makeup whatsoever because I can definitely see like in the areas where I have more product where I use the concealer on top of the foundation kind of around my mouth. If I look closely I can see it but I can't see it like I normally can um, so I feel like this definitely gave me more of a natural finish. One trick in using the beauty sponge is that you need to get this sucker really wet. I think that's why I disliked it the first time is because I don't think I got it wet enough. When you run it under the water, I close it, squish it, run under the water, let it expand with the water, squeeze it out, and keep repeating that process until you really feel like it's saturated. Then squeeze out the extra water. I think I even squeezed mine in a towel for a second to make sure it wasn't really wet because I didn't want to apply water on my face. And then use it, but it still needs to be damp. Like mine's still damp from using it. You can see it didn't eat up too much of my product. Um, that's the foundation on the sponge and then on the tip you can see it actually didn't eat up a lot of it I was pretty impressed with it cleaning it I cleaned it actually last night just using my normal Dawn original dish soap that I used to clean my brushes it is a little tricky to clean so just keep squeezing and squeezing um, you have to use a little bit of soap a little more soap than normal to get it out and then you have to use rinse a while to get the soap out but you know you just kind of keep re repeating that process of squeezing and squishing it um, and it will eventually come out they do say that you're supposed to clean these I've heard different things I've heard some people say after every use and I've heard some people say you know once a week let's be honest y'all every use is just not gonna happen with me I will never use anything I have to wash every single time I use it because then I'd rather just not use it so I'm gonna try washing mine you know every third use or so um, or just see how it works with me as far as whether or not I think that this is something that you should have in your collection um, I think that you wouldn't hurt to have it like I said I'm really impressed with it the second go around there is a learning curve to this I did try it once and I didn't like it until the second time so especially if you're more comfortable with brushes and aren't as familiar with the sponge it's probably gonna take you a little bit longer um, and then if you're just new to this sponge it'll take a little more time so I would say if you do purchase it don't give up on it at very first because you might love it after the second time like I do so I think yes this would be a nice purchase to have like I said for when you just want more of a very natural finish I think this is a great tool at ten dollars L and I changed my mind I like the beauty sponge so thanks guys for watching I hope this video was helpful let me know if you have the beauty sponge if you like it or if you don't like it I want to hear what everybody thinks about this little tool and I will see you guys next time in my next video bye guys I've been on, you've been on.